cruises, waters. Let's get you guys out the door with some temperatures. And oh, that sun is just popping up over those beautiful Oregon mountains, lighting the way. It must be Sunday. Those clouds are up there in the sky. Oh, we got some El Paso love for you guys as well. Our uh, director is from Las Cruces, so he always does MSU and stuff like that first. Anyways, looking at El Paso, looking beautiful there as well. Let's take a look at your Doppler radar. I've been showing this over and over and again, but I just want you guys to see what you're dealing with right now. This is what we've seen over the past hour. A lot of stuff heading up that northern, well, excuse me, you're about central New Mexico there, making its way up towards the northern area. It's coming in here out of the south. Now you can see Columbus right there getting hit pretty hard, dimming as well. So if you're going to be on I-10, heading, let's say, towards um, Los Angeles, maybe going up to Vegas to throw your money away or something like that, you're going to be hitting plenty of rain stuff. So again, be very careful. If you start heading up north, up that I-25 route, maybe heading up to Albuquerque or something like that, you see a lot of heavy duty rain there, especially in that tier C region. So again, be very very careful as you guys are making your way throughout your day today. The El Paso area a little bit as well, but just not as much there in that southern Mexico area. So again, be very careful on those roads. Take your time. Slow down. If you're going to go some of those farm roads, you can't see the road anymore due to the rain. Just turn around. Not even worth it. You got plenty of time. So let's talk about your temperatures here in the El Paso area. Right now, we're looking at about 74 degrees here, 68 up in Las Cruces, 49 in Cloud Crop, nice and chilly up there, 65 over there in TRC. So if you want to get out of all this heat and stuff like that, I'm looking at you there, uh, Cloud Crop, and Reed does so. Save a spot for me. You're your highs here in the El Paso area. Anthony, you're at 92, 93 there at Fort Bliss. Fabians, you're at 95 as well. So you can see you're going to be in your mid-90s here in the borderland area throughout the rest of the day. Now your lows, you're going to be into your mid-60s. Maybe you see there at Fort Bliss. I mean, it's always warmer at Fort Bliss. I don't know what you guys are doing there, but I'm going to find out. Donna, Anna, you guys are going to be a little warm as well. Let's take a peek at your highs. You can see La Mesa, you're at 92. Vado at 92 as well. So you're going to be in your low 90s there in your Donna, Anna area. Area. Again, it's going to be wet though, so make sure you got that umbrella. Your overnight lows, forecast lows, you're looking at 68 there in Southern Park, 65 up in White Sands, Hatcher at 65 as well. So you can see in your mid 60s. Now, your seven day highs here in the El Paso area, 88 for tomorrow, so a little bit of reprieve. That's probably due to some of this rain we're going to be looking at. You're going to be in your mid 90s there on Tuesday, going all the way till Saturday, you're at 95 as well. Then a little bit lower there on 91. But again, we're going to be seeing precipitation all the way through this week. Now, your seven day forecast sponsored by Matches Firm, you're at 88 for tomorrow, 20 percent humidity then 30 percent again on Tuesday so you can see we're going to be dealing with this rain stuff you're going to be in your high 60s for your overnight in those first three days switch it on to the next four you got 95 there on Wednesday and excuse me Thursday that's how it is 20 percent as well so plenty of rain in your forecast 91 will be your high on Sunday when we come back we'll have a little bit more news maybe some weather we're talking about a fostering agency that's trying to get some kids to camp we'll see you